We'll have none of that. The stove isn't on in, in Yellowstone, so we're not worried about a, a volcanic event there um, in, the, in the near future. Scientist Mike Pullen knows that because of a research technique that is almost more interesting than the finding itself. This is really an incredibly high resolution electrical conductivity image of the subsurface. It hasn't even been possible before. It's based on recent updates to a 70 year old technology. Just the, the whole idea that we're using magnetotellurics to look at the conductivity beneath the ground is, is pretty stunning. In science shorthand, it's called MT. It utilizes electric currents flowing deep into the earth. And that electrical current is not generated by, you know, generators or anything like it. It's generated by solar particles hitting the earth and worldwide lightning. It, it, it's yeah, this is the sort of thing that I do for a living, this sort of geophysics, and it still stuns me that this kind of stuff is even possible. This is not just a study of the Yellowstone caldera. This is really a huge study area. It's a bit like a uh, digital camera, and the more megapixels you have, the better your resolution is. So the more sensors you have out there, that's essentially megapixels. Now, this map may be a little bit confusing. It has an awful lot of data on it. The red triangles that you see represent the MT data study sites. Now, this map is showing a different kind of monitoring station. These are seismic stations, and they're scattered all around the park. Came online mostly about 2020 or so. When we merge the two data sets, that's when things can really come into focus. New data shows large pools of hot, sometimes liquid, sometimes kind of mushy rock beneath the park. In order to mobilize it to really feed a, a consequential volcanic eruption, you would need to remelt some of that. So that means the terror YouTube videos about a Yellowstone eruption are mostly just speculation or outright fantasy. Right now in the United States, one of the world's largest volcanoes is gearing up to explode. So don't believe that stuff. It's just clickbait. That doesn't take away though from the hazards that are in the region. One of them is strong earthquakes. Those are present because of the tectonic uh, activity in the whole region. The 1959 magnitude 7.3 heavy lake earthquake is an example. Or these, these steam explosions like the one we saw last summer. More on that is coming up in a future report. I'm John Shearer. MTN News.